Hi everyone, it's Felicia with FP Handmade again, and I'm here with a craft haul video. I have a couple of items that I purchased from Joanne and uh, off of Amazon, and then some items that I purchased from HSN and a card share. So let's get started. So from Joanne, I just have this one item, and it's this super cute ribbon. It has the little bunny with the different color bunny tail, which I thought was really cute. And um, on this, um, you know, burlap looking ribbon. Really pretty. Wow, they teach you how to make a bow on the back of here. That's interesting. I'll try that. And then I also picked up this EK Tools uh, Precision Tip Craft Tweezers, which I use every day in my craft room. I um, purchased these because mine is kind of beat up on the tip, and I hate that. I don't know it's why it gets that way, but... I bought me a new one. Love this. Can't hardly craft without it. And then I purchased uh, from HSN. It was their craft day or a national craft day. Um, and I purchased just a couple of items. One item that I purchased was actually a, um, a set. So a little kit, I guess you call it. And it's the Maggie Holmes Garden Party. And what I got with it was this seven-piece washi tape spools. And that's what that looks like. Really cute. And then the uh, 192 stickers, which I'll probably use in my planner too. You get the bows and the florals. And then this sticker uh, sheet. And it's a 68 six. Yeah, 68 stickers. Say that fast. And I've purchased this before, but I really like this set. And then you have these stickers, which are 150 uh, a piece garden party. They're barely hanging on over here. And the stickers, black. And then you got the 20 piece raz raz resin stickers. Man, I can't talk today. With the little hearts that are gold. Really cute. I'm pretty sure you've seen this. And then the 12 by 12 um, paper pad for garden party. And um, like I said, I'm pretty sure you've seen this. I'll just do a quick little flip through. Pretty, pretty, pretty paper. And this is the 48 piece garden party set. Look at that. That's really pretty. 12 by 12 by Maggie Holmes. And the bees in there and her signature bows and so that's that and then the other thing that i picked up one other thing was this die set by anna griffin and it's called the layered rose dies so you get the five dies two of them are for um, leaves and then the other three are their different florals or roses and so she gives you a idea sheet off the time which is awesome to look at especially the colors that you can use. And then there's also a um, how-to uh, symbol, the flowers, which is very important. Um, once you do it one time, I think you'll get it, but to see it initially, um, it's really helpful. So I'm gonna show you my examples from this floral right here, which is actually this one. And then I'm gonna show you examples of this leaf or leaf set so let me show you so here are the flowers so what i did was i just chose four colors and then i just cut them out and then i used each layer to make um, a flower so you see the different colors represented in different places and it tells you in the instruction, here's the last one. It tells you how many sheets of paper or different colors you need. Um, so like the flower that I did, it says cut and emboss the floral layers. To achieve the proper shading, you will need four different paper colors. So it tells you that. And that's the flower. And then for the leaf, I did this one. And then this one. And this one. I think um, the next time I do these, I'm going to make sure about the embossing part. I don't think I fully got the embossing 
part with the layers that I use with my um, cuddle bug. So I'll work on that. But I think these are beautiful um, and will be really pretty embellishments for cards when you just do like that. So that's what I got from Joanne uh, from Scrap. No, not Scrap. Huh? Joanne and Amazon and HSN. Okay, so then I wanted to share a card with you that I made yesterday for a coworker. I think it turned out really pretty. I don't have the it even, which bothers me, but I think it's fine. Um, I just have to pay attention. I was trying to make this fast. Pay attention to my layering, and I used just a piece of paper that I got in a, a pack of items from Amazon. I think it's kind of like for junk journaling or journaling. And then I used this... Um, sentiment from Anna Griffin sentiment set and then I put some enamel dots on here and these I think these are I'm not sure where these are from I've had them for a while and I love how I just decided to let the leaf um, hang off I wanted to go on the inside too but it would have covered up the sentiment since this is a card for a co-worker there's several sentiments in here from um the other staff members, um, what they wanted to say to her. So I think it turned out really pretty. And then of course on the back, I have my stamp and that's it. Let me know what you think about the card below. I always like to read comments about anything that I make. Um, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.